What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat, and we're playing a little bit more Yes, Yo Grace. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. We've got some people we gotta meet up with. Tax Collector, did you bring me five and five? I need more gold, man! Yo Grace, in justice and hunger we have struck our village. Men dressed in black came and took our stock. Hardly anything left to feed the dogs now. I wanted to kindly ask you for ten sacks of supplies. That way we can keep our children fed. Alright, there you go, buddy. Have fun. Feed your children. This will be enough to keep us going for a few weeks. God's favor on you. Now do what you gotta do. We're kind of like net positive on supplies anyway, so... I come with a business proposition, Your Grace. I need ten gold to hire men and buy resources to build a new tavern in Bronca. You see, the tavern will serve more than it's just a way for the locals to get drunk. The village is very well positioned. It has many visitors, but they never stay for long. A new tavern would change that and will guarantee a steady income. I will share the profits once I start making money on the business. Alright, go for it. Take the gold and let the business grow. Oh, wonderful. You won't regret it, Your Grace. I'll get right back with the work. Eight solid tables, 13 beds. We could make a cheaper shared chamber. Ooh, this is gonna work well. Your Grace, a disease is crawling in our village. It's nothing serious, I don't think, but fevers and sneezes are all over the place, and it's appeared out of nowhere. It's as if a dark force brought it upon us. Alright. Well, I mean, I can offer you some supplies. Give them out in your village. Make sure everyone has access to what they need. Thank you, Your Grace. We are beyond content. I hope that the spirits will keep you well. I mean, we have plenty of supplies. Like, that's not the issue right now. Like, we've been stocking those up for a couple of days. I don't know what other things I'm- Oh, I needed to go to the council chamber, and I need to talk about alliances with other kingdoms. That's what I needed to do. Alright, to the council chamber. Your Grace, I organized a scout, and he will let us know what we're up against. Take a look at the map. Okay. I suppose we will. Oh, they added a button down at the bottom. I thought he wanted me to interact with something at the, at the, on the- Okay. We can talk to nearby lords, but first I would suggest inviting Talus. You will find him in Hagos, east of our castle. Alright. Where is Tego? Oh, there it is. There's Hagos. Okay. Uh, we are not allied. Send a pigeon to invite King Talus? Yeah, let's do it. King Talus has been invited. He should join us within a week. Good. With his army, we should be able to repel Rodovia, no matter what they come with. Thank you, Audrey. Hey there. Pumpkin. That's new. I like it. Your grace. There you go. You shouldn't be playing in here. So, Donnie, as always, you probably should not be playing in here, but this is my most cherished place in the cat's fortress. The, uh, the components in this chamber are of most interest. Oh, you have the finest items here, Father. Go and play in the gardens. Father, don't grumble. Go. I'll see you in the gardens later. See, and that's a promise right there. We have to follow through with that one. You can't, like, be breaking promises to little girls. Uh, let's see. We need to go to... Let's go speak with the wife, I guess. We'll go talk to the queen and see if she's got anything new to add to the situation. How are you holding up? Okay, well, never mind. There's nothing new over there, then. We can go somewhere else. Yeah, let's go to the walls. We'll see if our daughter's got anything else to say. She likes to hang out up here and gaze wistfully over the hills. We'll also go to the gardens, and we'll talk to Sidani shortly. See if there's any fresh drama in between everybody. Nothing there. I do wish that we could just, like, freely teleport in between any location we wanted. Like, just by pressing, like, the M key, we could just jump in between locations in the castle, maybe? Like, that'd be kind of nice, instead of having to walk around. But I guess they probably keep that in for, like, an immersive effect. Eh, let's go to the gardens, I guess. We might have some kind of conversation to be at. Your Grace, how are you? It's boring in here. Okay, well, you know, sometimes life is boring. Yes, Father? Okay, there's nothing else going on. I guess nobody has anything else to say. We sent out our missives. We did all of our kingly duties for the day. I guess for right now, we'll just wait it on out till next week. I bring news about Lord Etten's case, Your Grace. With his plan, me and my squad managed to take his daughter back. Very nice. That's what I like to see. Do we get anything from it? It is the end of the month, Your Grace. At the start of next week, I will add up all the income and expenses for you. We need to pay our agents, but we will also gain income from our allies, Your Grace. Hardly any light can get through these windows. These halls need to shine, Eric. Father! Look what she did! Asalia's put... Feces under my pillow. How can I ever wash it off? Why did you tell her I don't 
Why did you tell her I told her? I didn't, I didn't click that option. The game just did it by itself. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Can you not see we have a guest? Back to your chamber, now. We'll deal with that later. Scuttle off. You can't control your children. I'm surprised you still sit where you do. And then I'm standing where I am. Forgive me. We've had a lot going on recently. I'm asking if you're going to make me stand like a commoner here. Oh, of course. Let's talk in the council room. You have a lot of books. What can be so important that you didn't just send you couldn't just send me a pigeon? I'll be straightforward with this. I need an army. Rodovia has threatened me and my family. Rodovia? Here? Yes, they they're simple men and they're untrained. Tell you what, I will give you three thousand soldiers. My army can deal with anything they throw its way. Just like that? Of course not. You see, he's always bothering me. It's about time he grew up. A wife would keep him busy and out of my way. Lorsulia would be good enough for him. She could teach him a thing or two. I also want to access this fine collection of books you have here, plus anything else you can find. You still seek cures for your wife. Her condition hasn't improved? Well, it doesn't concern you. You get an army, I get Lorsulia and access to these books. So an army for a marriage in return. You catch on quickly. Is this a deal then? I don't believe you have much of a choice, Eric. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why not? Sure. I suppose I have no choice. Excellent. I will send the army straight away, but I want immediate access to the archives. The marriage can be organized later. Let me get lost in your books, then. I think I will start from this room. What do we have here? Well, there you go. We now have 3,000 soldiers. Our kingdom had 100 guys? How come our neighbor hasn't invaded us and taken over already? Like, he doesn't even have to do this treaty. He could hit us first, have all of our lands to unify and levy, and then fight off the bandits. This guy sucks at being a king. His ability to perform intrigue is kind of terrible. Now, who else do we have around? No one, really. All right. Well, out we go. I probably shouldn't have done this, like, on the first offer. There was probably a better offer coming later, but... That seems to be life. Asalia? Of course she's not here. Probably on the wall, man. She's always on the wall. That seems to be the only place that she hangs out. She's got to be like a Pink Floyd fan or something. Oof, this is going to be a rough day. Her pillow got shitted on. And now I also have to tell her that I'm marrying her off to some prince. Rough conversation. Rough conversation. There's something I need to tell you. We have no choice. You must marry Ivo, the Prince of Atana. It's... I'm sorry. What do you mean? Don't I get a say in this? We need this marriage for an army that will defend us. A war is coming. So I'm going to be sacrificed. Did you even consider other options? Did you even try to offer something other than your daughter? Well, I knew it. I knew the day I was old enough you would just sell me to the highest bidder. I've been waiting for this. You can't wait to get rid of me, can you? I wish I was a common girl living in the village having nothing to worry about. Being able to marry the one I love, not some snob I've never met. Yeah, it's not how it worked for peasants either. Peasants married the exact same way. You know, the blacksmith would marry the miller's daughter for flour. Like, it, it was it, it was the exact same thing. There's no escaping that system. It is what it is. Stupid wedding. Stupid prince. You're stupid. Oh, she's pushing me out of the room right now. <laughs> there we go. Just, I gotta get back over here, alright? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as physical assault. But we're gonna let it fly because we just delivered some really bad news. Like, I wish... It could have been better, but frankly, I fold easily under pressure, and that other king was hitting me with the Dwight Schrute manual for negotiation where he was like, sign the papers, do it, shake my hand. Like, I just, I folded. I folded. It was an accident. I didn't mean to. It just, it all happened so fast. <laughs> Your Grace, my daughter is back. Those goons didn't even know what hit them, and we hit them hard. If it wasn't for your general, I'm not sure my plan would have worked. Take this gold as a thank you, your grace. Oh, he gave me like eight bucks. Hell yeah, tax collector. Get on over here, bro. I bring the collected tax, your grace. For the past week, it will be five gold and five supplies. How long you figure it takes to set up an inn? I need to talk to Aurelia. She'll be in our bed chain. Oh, yeah. We haven't told our wife yet, either. We kind of did that without talking to her. Oof. This is a rough day for a husband. We're about to get... Oh, we're getting it from, like, every direction. Like, this is not what I would have done. I would have been like, counterpoint... After he takes me out, he's going to take you out. All right? Just saying. 
Uh, he may have a claim to my throne. Is all I'm saying. Oh, man. This is gonna be a weak conversation. I need to, like, hide behind a potted plant for this one. Losulia is getting married. Did Baron find us? We can't let him. Losulia is going to marry Ivo, the Prince of Atana. I made a treaty with Talus. Marriage for an army. No, we cannot let her marry a barbarian. Eric, you said you would find a way. Wait, Ivo? That's actually good. That's great. Yay, I'm the best husband ever! Ivo is a prince after all, and if Lorsulia is married to Ivo, then Bayron can't do anything. Talus' army might simply scare him away. Oh, this is great news, Eric. Wonderful. Who's going to prepare the wedding? Guests, menus, we need to decorate the throne room. Does Lorsulia know yet? Yup, she didn't take it well. Oh, but what does she know? She wouldn't want to marry the barbaric Bayron anyways. Who knows what they would do with their wives? Wouldn't surprise me if they cut them up and eat them for dinner the next day. Give her time. She'll come around. See, like, all right, I'm the best husband ever. So at least like 50% of my house is happy right now. It could have been worse. Uh, where is our other daughter? Our other daughter appears to be missing. Um, other daughter? Hmm. Did she, like, run away or something? Where'd her other daughter go? We had three daughters a week ago. Now I have two daughters. I understand that it's medieval times and everybody's getting sick from, like, you know, butt plague or something, but, like... Mm, she's not in here. I don't know where she went. Uh-oh. Dude, if she got kidnapped in the village by Bayron's guys, I'm gonna be so upset with her. Oh, that will make me re-out super hard. Kids, man. Kids. Kids. Nighttime, Eric and Aurelia are sleeping in bed. Knock, knock. It better be something important at this ungodly hour. Your grace, Rodovian forces have been spotted nearby. We should send our men to track them down. They've come for Lasulia. Eric, we must do something. Send the men to check this. Probably a bait. They're probably gonna hit us while my general's out looking for him. Aw, oh, weak dude, I'm poor. What have you learned? Redovians have formed stationary posts around your castle, Your Grace. Camps, if you like. They're planning their next moves. Destroying their posts would damage their ability to form strategies, Your Grace. Although we now have a prospect of an army, we shouldn't give them any advantage. Wait on my mark, General. I will instruct you where to strike. Yes, Your Grace. Apparently, there's going to be, like, wartime strategy in this game, too. Sweet. Oh, it's the merchant. Give me my money. Your grace, the tavern you helped, establish, or you helped me establish is up and running. It's doing so well that it's not just a stop between long trips. It's more of a destination on its own now. As promised, here are the profits. Three pieces of gold every week. Sounds fair, right? Uh, how much did I give him? Ten? Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Hopefully, he's not screwing us. Aw, oh, weak, dude. I could have asked for more. Now I'm a dummy. You will be ready for the wedding in four weeks, Your Grace. The Rodovian posts need to be eliminated by then. We still need to provide for the people's needs. Striking the right balance between the two might be rough, if not impossible. With our current resources, we will need to prioritize. All right. How can I help, Pumpkin? I'm worried about Lorsulia, Father. What will happen to her when she leaves? She promised me she'd take care of me, but now she's leaving. Why would she lie? And what happens to Dusty? You don't have to worry. Lorsulia will be very happy where she's going. And as for Dusty, it's Lorsulia's cat. He'll probably want to take Dusty to keep her company. But if she didn't leave, then Dusty wouldn't have to go as well. I don't want her to leave. Can you talk to her? It's not exactly her choice. I'm sure she would prefer to stay. She would never leave you on purpose. Then why does she do it? If she would rather stay, she should. Can you talk to her and convince her to stay? Of course, Sidani. I can try convincing her, but I don't think that will change a thing. I knew I could count on you. Thank you. Oof. Tax collected. Man, we only get five and five. We gotta figure out a way to upgrade the infrastructure of this place, make it a little more profitable. Yo, Christ, they took me cattle. Monsters with steel came at night and took everything. Sure, there's plenty of grass left now, but what's left of it? If there ain't cattle, what to feed on it? Can you help us, Yo, Grace? Yum. 
Um, I don't know. I have supplies. This should be enough for you to get your village a new herd. That's even a bit more than I needed. <laughs> Thank you, your grace. You gotta do the F sound, though. They go, Thank you, your grace. They say Fs instead of THs. I don't know why. They just do. Your grace, my son is a disgrace to the whole family. I've sent him to gather brushwood in the forest. Turns out he's too dumb to find a way back home. Do you think you could help us find him? I mean, there's no rush. Uh, yeah, send the general. We've already done everything else, too. Oh, I will talk some sense into that little loafer. Once he's found, of course. It is hard to go from my normal voice into that voice instantaneously without, like, changing my vocal cords a little bit, though, and getting it set up. All right, to the council room. If he's sending us an army, like, how are we... Mm. Let's see here. I can send a select an agent type to explore the location. What agents do I have? Oh. Can I buy another one? I have witches, hunters, and generals. All right. Mm, that's all for now. I don't think I need anything right this second. We've taken a look at that. And... Am I, like, not allowed to leave my chambers now? What's going on in the council chamber? How is your wife? No, oh, never mind. Did Yellies and Baravia resolve their wars yet? What were they fighting about again? Land and witchcraft? I don't know and I don't care to find out. I have my own problems. Is everything okay in Hagos? I've always wanted to visit your beautiful town. Then why don't you? Go and see it for yourself. What it's like. Surely better than this rat hole. Listen, man! That was not diplomatically approved. Are the books of any use? Healing fever, how to prevent dysentery, something about malaria. They're all useless. And how is Ivo? What's there to say? Ivo has a royal blood, and I pay enough for his masters to know that he's at least half as smart as I am. Won't you just leave me alone, Eric? I'm trying to focus here. All right, I'll leave you to it then, dick. King douche. Oh, look, she's back. Have you seen Lord Sulia? You notice two swords on the ground and pick them up. Swords, please tell me you haven't had a skirmish, Lord Sulia. She's far too soft for that. She wouldn't have a chance. Let me be the judge of that. Show me what you've got. Really? You'll fight with a girl? Let's go. I don't really know how to. Since I can't go to the market, I had to find something else to do. I just picked them up. All right. Less talking, more fighting. Ow! Too slow. My turn. You've got quite an arm there, young lady. So tell me, Asalia, what's going on with you two? Still holding grudges? She's locked herself up in her chamber. What a baby. You did leave feces on the bed. Don't pretend like this is the reason she won't come out. Is this what's going to happen to me one day, too? I don't want my little girls to leave home so soon, but the truth is, once you come of age, we will need to find you a husband, sooner or later. I guess I didn't think of it before. It really puts things into perspective. I was angry at her for being so irritating, but now I'm angry at her that she's leaving me. I feel bad for her, but who will I vex now? Sidani's too young, and it's not the same. Well, I'm sure you'll find a way to occupy your time. I guess we should end it here. I was just warming up. You think we could do this again one day? Sure, why not? I will find you when I have a while. I suppose that'll be never, then. We hardly do anything anymore. Talus would tell you otherwise, trust me. Father, I'm sorry. What I did to Lord Sulia wasn't fair. Don't apologize to me. I know, I feel like it's best to give her some time. I will make it right, though. Well, that's good. At least somebody's handling their own business without the king having to be involved. At least somebody's taking care of business. I'll go talk to the queen real fast. How are the wedding preparations going? I'm preparing some handmade decorations. I hope Lord Sulia likes them. I'm sure she will. They're lovely, my darling. The wedding's so soon, and there's so much to do. I think we're going to have roasted duck and a Kalasian salad. I don't know yet about the cake. I think we need to speak to Lord Sulia about it. I'll let you work on the preparations. If you need anything, I'll be in the throne room. All right. I suppose we can check the castle wall, just in case she's up here. I think I took care of everything for the day anyways. I feel kind of bad that I got rooked by the trader, and I could have got more gold. I don't know what the economy is like, though. Like, I don't know how much... What is the purchasing power of three gold in this game? Apparently, five gold buys an entire herd of cattle. So, like, 
I, I don't know what the value of gold is, so I didn't know, how, like, if somebody's like, three gold when I gave him ten, I'm like, all right, well, that's 30% of the profits. Technically, as king, I should probably get, like, 80%, but, you know, whatever. I'm being a nice guy right now. I'm trying to, like, make people happy. I'm trying to be a good lord. I'm trying to be the laird that everyone deserves. Unfortunately, people keep taking advantage of my niceness. I may have to get cruel from here on in. I bring your weekly due for the tavern, your grace. There's still time until the wedding. We should check out the Rodovian post when there's a chance, your grace. Your grace, I think I know why they're after me. Who are you talking about? Yesterday when I went to bed, someone was in my room and they moved the candles. They left them on the windowsill. I never leave my candles on the windowsill. Your grace. Are you about to get like a... I don't even know who you are. Why are you giving me like Facebook style life updates? Have you seen Lorsulia, my darling? I think she's still locked up in her chamber and refusing to come out. I think it's best to give her some time. I don't know what to do. The wedding is so close. I wanted her to help me pick flowers, but she won't talk to me. Guess you're right, though. I'll get back to the preparations. Of course. Tax collected. There's our money right there, so we're starting to get a little back. I can offer my service as general, Your Grace. I take 30 gold monthly, though. I will add this to the month's outcomes, Your Grace. Sounds fair. We could always use another guy, so... Having another agent is not the worst idea, either. Let's go to the Eastern Post. We'll deploy a general. I wanted to send, like, a hunter or something over there. I feel like that would have been a better play, but... Your Grace, yet another village was raided by Rodovian forces. Should we aid them in their time of need? This could have a great effect on our people's contentment, Your Grace. We can't allow Rodovia to threaten our land. I don't have any generals, so I can't really do anything. Let's hope that they don't strike again. Well, we built up a little bit of, like, happiness from people. What do you have here, merchant? Your Grace, I bring you a mixture that can cure illness. Works most of the time. Cures almost everything. You won't find anything better for 20 pieces of gold. Eh. Nah, I think I'm okay. How can you know for sure you won't need it soon? Oh, well, I'll sell it elsewhere. I, uh, yeah, you know, I'm not really in the market for snake oil right now. Not super excited about it. I don't know why I always want to go out of the throne room to the left. It just feels better to me going out of the throne room to the left. All right, what's going on over here? Let's see what's up with Asalia. Okay, well, she's fine then, so we can't really talk to her. Let's continue about our business. 500 gold to fix a cell is like crazy. I'm assuming at some point we'll actually start to make money, but for right now, like, we're kind of flying by the skin of our teeth at the moment. We don't really have a whole lot going for us. We're kind of broke, dude. Eh, nothing going on here. All right, well, on to the next week, I guess. I don't know. Your Grace, we've found the little boy. He went back to his parents, and the father mumbled something about one more mouth to feed. Not sure if it would be better off in the forest. Aw, oh, weak, dude. I wasted my general on that nonsense. No sign of Rodovians at the Eastern Post, Your Grace. There was nothing left behind. Okay, well, there you go. We took care of it. The merchant's going to drop off our monies. Let's get it. We're getting close to the wedding. We need to make sure those Rodovian posts are not a threat to us, Your Grace. All right, I'll deal with it in a minute. What are you hiding there, pumpkin? You said I can't have a cat, so I got myself a different pet. I never said you can't have a cat, just not Lorsulia's. It's a snail, and I found him in the gardens, and I call him a smudge. It's an unusual pet and an original name. He's nice, but he's not a cat. He's all slimy and sticky and kind of gross. It's the best replacement I've found so far. Maybe if Lorsulia didn't have to leave, she could help me find something better. Once your sister gets married, she'll have to go with Ivo. She has to support him. She can't stay with you forever, you know. So there's no way? No way. I think we would have loved it in the council chamber, father. When can I go back in there? You mean the snail? What was his name? Smear? It was Smudge, dude. Be a better father. It's Smudge, exactly. See, it's not that hard, father. He smudges, that's why. Yes, it's Smudge. I'm afraid you won't be able to go to the council chamber for a while, though. King Talus is staying there until the wedding ceremony. Besides, I did tell you not to play in there, didn't I? Yes, father. Tax collector, got my monies. 
Your grace, men with monsters on their banners came ravaging our village and they set the barn on fire. It wasn't long before the flames spread to other buildings. Most of our supplies are now lost. Please, send some help! Alright. There's some supplies. Your grace, you are very kind. Your good deeds will spread far, I'm sure. Your grace, I have a small favor to ask. Teeny tiny one. Do you happen to have any spare gold? You see, five pieces of gold is all I ask for. That way I can get myself some boots. Yeah, that's it. Some boots, of course. That was kind of unusual, but appreciate the help. So, uh, get out of here. I didn't mean to, your grace. Let me just disappear. Yeah, you disappear before I put a foot in your ass. Your grace, my village has been raided by bandits. Let me guess, there's a monster on the banners? No, not at all. Locals for sure, but they were armed. Our food supplies and cattle were stolen. We would greatly appreciate the support. We'll send a general. We'll track them down and give you back what's yours. Thank you, your grace. Now let's go ahead and on the map, we will send somebody out to go and check out that post right there. Confirm it. All right, we're doing a pretty good job as king right now, if I do say so myself. Sounds like Rodovia has copycats of sorts. Other bandits can now get away with their crimes more easily. They know the blame will fall on the Rodovians and hope we won't look for them. Things are going to settle down after the wedding, I'm sure, Your Grace. Yeah, I got a feeling they won't. My name is Splattercat. This is Yes, Your Grace. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you'll have all the links and relevant info down below so you can check out the game if you wanted to. It's not out quite yet, but this is like the first chapter of the game that they've sent to me. If you wanted to see more of the game, make sure you leave a like on the video. It helps me know who's engaged with what series that I have running and what impressions that I'm doing. Other than that, I will see you all later. Don't forget to stop by the Twitch channel. I'm there every single day of the week, and I'd love to have you and be your host. How you doing? Take care, everybody.